Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will talk about the square root of negative 16. And I think 90% will get this wrong. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is that we need to find the square root of negative 16. Now, if you will answer me that the square root of negative 16 is equal to 4 or negative 4, let me tell you this is straight. 4 and negative 4 are incorrect. So let me give you a short idea why does 4 or negative 4 are incorrect. So let's say for example we take this 4. 4, when you square it, 4 square is equal to 16. And as you can see, we didn't get negative 16. So, sir, can we try negative 4? Let's have negative 4. We have negative 4 raised to the second power when you when you raised it by the square or power of 2, it will give you also positive 16. And again, the given radicand here is negative 16. So, why do we need to square this number? Because in my point of view, squaring a number is the opposite of getting the square root of a number. So as you can see, 4 raised to 2 is equal to positive 16, and negative 4 raised to 2 is also positive 16. So we didn't get negative 16. So here's the question. How are we going to simplify this kind of radical in which the radicand on the number inside the radical is negative. So let me give this to you. The square root of negative number does not exist in real mathematics. So here, in this case, I will introduce to you the square root of the imaginary numbers or imaginary numbers. In mathematics, we have square root of negative 1 and in imaginary number it is simply equal to i so when you encounter this kind of letter i it represents the square root of negative one so how are we going to apply this concept in this given example first as you can see we have square root of negative 16 now we can factor it out like this one square root of 16 times negative 1. Again, 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. Now we have a property in which we can separate them into two radicals. First we have the square root of 16 times the other one which is the square root of negative 1. If you only have 16 as a question, what is the answer? The square root of 16 is 4. Now, we still have the square root of negative 1, and I told you earlier that the square root of negative 1 is equal to i. So to simplify this, this will be i. And as you can see, what is the answer in the question? The square root of negative 16 is simply 4i. So I hope guys you learned something from this video and as part of our routine, let me give you the second example and let me see in our comment section what is your answer in this problem. Let me give you the square root of negative 49. And I hope guys learned something from this video on how to simplify the square root of negative numbers. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the notification bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!